stay tuned because Good Sports is coming next. Good Sports was recorded on October 18th. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness. The physical therapists at Core don't just treat symptoms, they treat the whole person. Treatment plans are customized specifically for each patient and their unique needs. At Core, they educate you about your issue, create and implement a program to help you, and empower you to prevent future occurrences. Core Strategies Physical Therapy is located at 10400 West 103rd Street, just on the east side of 69 Highway. For more information or to set up an appointment and no doctor referral is needed to set up an appointment, call Core at 913-322-4000 or visit their website, corestrategiespt.com. Before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness can be picked up at over 700 locations in KC, and it's absolutely free. Also, this month, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 19th straight year as the Sports Illustrated of Kansas City. Now, in our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we write about how KCIC will be working with the new rink at 169th and Antioch, which is scheduled to open in late 2017. In our Sportingly Summit soccer report, we write about a special free clinic Lee Summit North High School and Sportingly Summit put on each year. And in Chloe's Corner, the Ren Insurance Tennis Report, we introduce you to Luke Kachia, a youth tennis coach at Northland Racquet Club. And now joining us from Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness is Danielle Debrecht. She and Jennifer Westerberg are physical therapists and owners here at Core Strategies, which is located just east of 69 Highway on 103rd Street. Welcome, Danielle. Thank you so much for joining us. We've yeah. missed you the last couple I of know, months. I right? <laughs> you've, been, you've been just too busy, uh, know. That, which, is a, which is a good thing. It's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so the staff at Core contributes an article uh, each yeah. month. Uh, to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and you can find those online at kcsportspaper.com. You can also pick up a, a free copy at over 700 locations, including here at Core Strategies, and we'll talk about those, some of those things later. But first, you've got some special events and things like that that are going on right now. What's happening here at Core? Yeah, well, today we're doing a Bod Pod event, which is body composition testing with mm-hmm. Muscle Metrics, who's a company here in town, and they come out about every quarter. And what we do is we have um, any clients that are interested go through there and find out what their body composition is. So that, that kind of tells you your percent of lean muscle mass, which is really important for maintaining health over time. So that's... So how does all that work? What do they do? Um, you know, the, there's... Uh, I'll get some pictures. There's a... It's a big... Uh, you know, yeah, kind a of a big trailer, trailer, yeah, a trailer, but then inside of that, there's the yeah. bot pod. Yeah, so there's this little pod, a little capsule that you sit in, and you kind of wear compression um, clothing just so that there's not a lot of space between you and your and your clothes, and then sit in there. It takes, you know, about 10 seconds, depending on the calibration really? for you. It doesn't take long at all, and then what the report does is it'll tell you your percent body fat and your percent of lean muscle mass. So that's important for any type of goal setting, whether you're looking to lose weight, whether you're looking to gain muscle, or whether you just want to stay the same over time, you need to know with measurements if your plan's working. I see. So uh, you can set some goals uh, to do it the right way. Yeah. And, and this, yeah, this gives you, I mean, you know, you can just go out and exercise, but you might not be doing it the right way. Yeah. You might not be losing the weight in yeah. the proper way or, or gaining the right. muscle in the right way. This allows you to gauge that and exactly. see that, right? And sometimes we see when people are exercising, they, they um, depending on their diet and their exercise routine, may actually be losing weight, right. but unfortunately losing the key lean muscle mass, which is right. not what we want to lose oftentimes. We right. want to keep that because that helps us maintain health throughout the years. Right. So right. balance and, and, and all of that, it's just really important. So. Yeah. Balance is all about your business, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so one of the things that you also have going on is uh, lose a turkey by Thanksgiving challenge that, that's going yeah. on. Uh, fill us in on what that yes. is. I mean, by the time this airs, you'll be, well, actually, it'll be about a month before yeah. Uh, for that, but the yeah. sign up, the sign up is coming up real yeah. soon. Yeah, so we're we're kind of doing it now through Thanksgiving, and the whole idea was just to get people going on a structured plan for nutrition coaching and exercise coaching, so that they can kind of ward off those holiday pounds. We all tend to think of New Year's resolutions yeah. of of how we're going to get fit in the new year, but sometimes if you stop to think about how can I, you know, control 
you know, my exercise when bu- with busy schedules during the holiday and my diet during the holiday, that could be a huge head start for next year. <laughs> so we're just helping people customize plans for them and, and then getting some groups together for exercise and that kind of thing. Just uh, helping people attain their goals. So how can people sign up for that, find out more information yeah, about the, it? The best contact for that is Janie here in our office. And her email is J-A-N-I-E at core, C-O-R-E. PTKC.com, or you can give us a call at 913-322-4000. And even if you miss this deadline, you can still yep. set something up yep. that's we similar. S- yeah, exactly. Um, yep. st- still, still get on track Stuff for that. Stuff going yeah. all the time. So, yep. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. So uh, tell us a little bit more about CORE, who it is that you treat. Uh, on your website, it says how you move matters. And, yeah. uh, you know, I saw it on a t-shirt that one of your one of your uh, fellow PTs was wearing. It yep. said that as well. Yeah. Uh, what kind of clients? Do you see, uh, are they all athletes? It's no, just a mi- it, I mean, as yes, we look around here, it's just a mixture of, of all ages. Yeah, it's all across the board. So, um, you know, our kind of motto is if you move, we can help you move better. Right. I mean, it doesn't matter what stage of life we're at. You know, how we're doing things impacts what the next decade and the following decade looks like. So if you're a young athlete, we're looking at how can we help you achieve your goals and maybe rehab from an injury. Mm -hmm. But then also, how can we make sure that in your 20s and 30s and 40s and so on that you have good movement health so you can lead a a healthy life for a long time. Some of our, you know, older clients who are paying the price for some of those early sports injuries Uh. and now they're (laughs) in their 60s and 70s, we're looking at how do we just maximize what they're capable of so that they don't stop moving because right. that limits then the next few decades and these right. you know work all your life to to not be able to enjoy it so yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it doesn't really matter which end of the spectrum we're trying to maximize how however people move so we can get the most life out of life yeah, yeah. so you deal with people that are having just the short term pain to get them back in shape to do what it is that they do but also people that have chronic pain to, to improve that absolutely right? it's amazing how many people just assume that oh you know everybody has pain and i should just live with pain and yeah. and then they they get some relief and they're like why did i live with that for so long <laughs> and i'm like well you, unfortunately you don't know what you don't know yeah. and so the more that we can get people you know pain free or at least reduced pain and and moving well the the healthier they'll be in the long run for sure so we need to talk after we turn off the, <laughs> know, the cameras right? here but uh you can you can reach daniel at 913-322-4000 uh or dot com. Yep. it's got all sorts of information on yep. that as well uh so we'll talk about um we'll start talking about one of the articles yep. we've only got a couple of minutes but we may continue that in our second segment and i'm not even sure how to pronounce this word it's it's the rack Thoracic? Thoracic. Thoracic outlet syndrome. You wrote about yeah. that uh, during the baseball season. Yeah. And uh, it was because a number of the Royals pitchers were suffering from that. Yeah. But it's something that, you know, we individual weekend warrior type of people, work in your yard kind of people, reaching yeah. up, you know, doing whatever people uh, can have. First off, what is it? Well, <laughs> and what happens? Yeah, it, it's a kind of a neurological um compression that can happen it can also be vascular but it happens through kind of some muscles that come from the neck or down muscles through the shoulder can also be um, some of the upper ribs involved and what happens is it just creates an, a compression mm-hmm. on either the the neural bundles that go through there or the vascular structures so people can get all kinds of pain as well as numbness tingla, tingling coldness in the hand lots of different things so. so so it's something that happens in the shoulder? Is that where yeah. the... Yeah, shoulder the, and Im- neck area. Is it impingement of a nerve? Is, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah, Okay, wow. See, look at the terms that I've I learned know, from you. Right? Wow. <laughs> uh, can you hire me? Exactly. <laughs> Just put me at the front <laughs> office. I, I, can't, I can't do any of that other stuff. So um, so it's not necessarily a sports injury that can happen. You can have it at your desk. Right. So, yeah. you know, shoot, don't put me at the front exactly. office. Exactly. Yeah, so we oftentimes see it um, in... in some overhead throwing sports and those mm-hmm, types of things mm-hmm. where muscle imbalance occurs. Maybe one muscle group gets stronger than another and it changes the posture. But we also sometimes see it in sedentary workers where they've lost posture, postural control and we start seeing those types of symptoms. Yeah, so, so um, 
you know, the worst case from what I saw is doing surgery, which is what some of the, the Royals pitchers yeah. went through. Yeah. And they actually take out a rib. Yeah, is so they'll oftentimes they take wow. out the, the first rib, um, and then they may actually remove a few muscles in the neck called the scalenes. So they may either take portions of that, of that muscle okay. just to relieve the compression. Wow. But you can have a complete recovery from something like yeah. that. So, yeah. so if somebody feels like they're having that tingling and all that, and they come to you, what is it that you, you guys do to help them avoid that surgery? Exactly. So th- my, my advice would be the sooner you identify things, the always easier it is to mm-hmm. treat. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, if you're having symptoms, numbness and tingling or pain, you know, get seek help. Um, you know, what we'll do is we'll go through and do a, a vascular test and, and neurological test to see, you know, what tissues are involved and then, and then assess movement and posture and those types of things and get people going. And if it doesn't seem like that's going to be enough, then we'll collaborate with our surgical peers or our physician peers right. to kind of get the next step of testing going. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Yep. And that's pretty normal. I mean, we're, we're out of time for this segment, but that's pretty normal for you guys is to go through an assessment of oh, an individual yeah, sure. when they walk in the door and find out what their goals are yep. and what it is that they want to do. Exactly. And, and, you know, like I, I think Jen said last time, if you want to sit down on the ground with your grandkids, yep. you guys can help, you know, exactly. help them do that. Yep. So um, yep. give us the information on how to reach you at CORE here. Yeah, so um, you can give us a call through our phone number, 913-322-4000. My personal email is daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E, at coreptkc.com. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness Magazine show. Coming to you from Core Strategies, physical therapy, sports performance, and medical fitness. They're located just east of 69 Highway on 103rd Street in Overland Park. You can find them online at coreptkc.com. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll have more of Good Sports after these messages. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health and get more out of life. And right now you can save $25 on a one hour massage when you mention KC Sports or Good Sports. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Experience a touch of the Ozarks when you play Winterstone Golf Course in Independence and take advantage of the Pro Shop Last Blast Sale going on now. Visit Winterstone at 17101 East Kentucky Road in Independence. Find them online at winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? Bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. Arbor Creek Health and Wellness uses rapid recovery therapy to get to the root of your health issue and solve it. RRT is a -a one-of-a-kind treatment style that's great for runner's hamstring or knee, computer neck syndrome, crossfit shoulder, and more. And right now, pay just $35 for an RRT treatment or save $50 and get your first visit and treatment for just $70. Contact Arbor Creek Health and Wellness at 913-397-6900 or learn more online at activejoco.com. Contact Golf Tech in Overland Park and set up your golf swing evaluation, lessons, club fitting, and more. Golf Tech is the world leader in golf lessons and can show you how to swing better and play better golf. For more information, visit GolfTech.com or contact the Overland Park Golf Tech at 913-642-8881. Looking to buy or sell real estate? Contact Bill Halberstadt from REMAX at 816-903-1519. That's 816-903-1519. Teamwork Sports provides volunteer coaches with back office team management, uniforms and equipment choices, and indoor practice fields so coaches can do what they do best, coach. 
Visit their website, TeamworkSportsKC.com, for more information on how Teamwork Sports can provide equipment, services, and practice facilities to your team. Teamwork Sports caters to baseball, softball, soccer, and lacrosse teams. Visit their practice facility at 310 West 80th Street, just off Warnell, or go online to TeamworkSportsKC.com. Register now for the Sporting League Summit Indoor Soccer League held at Z Sports Arena. Leagues are forming for players pre-K through high school. Visit SportingLS.org for more information and register by October 29th. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness. The physical therapists at Core don't just treat symptoms, they treat the whole person. Treatment plans are customized specifically for each patient and their unique needs. At Core, they educate you about your issue, create and implement a program to help you, and empower you to prevent future occurrences. Core Strategies Physical Therapy is located at 104. 400 West 103rd Street, just on the east side of 69 Highway. For more information or to set up an appointment, and no doctor referral is needed to set up an appointment, call CORE at 913-322-4000 or visit their website, corestrategiespt.com. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out our Heartland Soccer Report presented by Market Leverage. This month, we write about how this amazing organization has helped soccer grow to tremendous numbers in Kansas City. And in this issue, we honor U.S. Army high school top performers from Blue Valley and Liberty High Schools. Plus, we feature a future soldier from Oak Grove High School. And coming up on November 12th, we'll be at Teamwork Sports Baseball, Softball, and Soccer Facility located at 310 West 80th on the east side of Warnell. And on November 19th, we'll be at the KCI Center, which is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. So we're here at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness, and we are joined by Dr. Daniil Debrecht. Well, congratulations. Oh, you got your, your doctor uh, <laughs> degree that is attached to all those other letters that I follow know, right? your name. Or, or, yeah, you and your, your partner, uh, Jennifer Westerberg, shared that together. I saw a picture yeah. on Facebook for that. That's yeah, awesome. Congrats. That, not too long ago. That, that's, uh, that's a nice thing, so, Doc. So, uh, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but Core Strategies is located at uh, 103rd Street and 69 Highway. Uh, you can visit their website, coreptkc.com, or give them a call at 913-322-4000. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the articles that Daniil and some of the other uh, physical therapists uh, present in our issues of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. The one that's in our current issue, which is the October issue as we're taping this, is called Running in the Fall. Uh, and you guys work a lot with uh, a, a youth running group mm -hmm. called Hot Feet Track. Yeah. Uh, so running is a big thing that, yeah, you, that you work with people on. Yeah, we do that all summer. And then there's so many races this time of year. We're, <laughs> off, we're often splitting our time from helping people with their training cycles to rehabbing injuries that they've encountered along the way. So so an appropriate topic for right now, exactly. for sure. And it's, yeah. it's a good time of the year for yeah. people to be running and all that yep. stuff just because of the weather. Yeah. So um, the article in the article, you outlined a number of tips that runners should mm -hmm. consider and mm -hmm. uh the first thing is is kind of the, the nicest one of all is to take some days off that know, you know right? can you take seven days off <laughs> well <your> that <laughs> might be a little much but yeah you know at least one to maybe two rest days um, are, are recommended for the legs you know and and that gives you an opportunity to to cross train which is one of the other things yeah. that we recommend you well, know, well let me else. ask if you're a short you know like a, a 5k runner versus a longer distance runner, is there a difference in the number of days that you should take off? You that? know, it's it, it a little bit Personal? depends on it, the person. You know, um, some people are natural run born runners and some <laughs> really struggle through. So it really depends on your injury history as well as your current goals and where you're at in a training schedule. But as a general rule, most people do pretty well with those one to two days depending on their, is, their it, history. Is that... Well, if you're doing the two-day thing, is it two days in a row, or is it just breaking it up? On Usually breaking it okay. up a little bit helps. Okay. 
Okay, well, that's good. So, so you mentioned cross train. Um, cross training is really important. Just about in any it sport is. that you play is is just to do something different. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, uh, uh, as humans, we move in in all directions. You know, <laughs> so you know, unfortunately, when we do a repetitive activity, it tends to be in in one plane more than right. others. So, the more that we can just cross train and and expose the body to different environments, the more ready you are for the unknown. Um, and that's especially important for runners. You know, you have that, you know, hit that, that crack in the sidewalk or on the, the road, depending on where you're running or, you know, some, some, you know, dog runs out <laughs> at you and you've got to change directions quick. Those things all require different muscles than what you were just using a second bo- before. So the more, the more you prime your system with training, the more responsive it's going to be. It's just like any other machine. Right. The runner in front of you gets a cramp because they didn't listen exactly. to the show or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, every ro- every street is crowned. So right. one leg is extending a little bit farther than the other i mean it might just be that much exactly. but but you know exactly. that's something to worry about exactly as well. so what kind of exercises can you do cross training wise that would help well, uh, with that you know and and it it really varies i mean switching things up you know it is the key you know and and i think for for runners who are really passionate about running it's hard to take off that day because maybe you don't like anything else mm-hmm. but finding something else that's that's relaxing and rewarding so you know some of our our runners do pilates on their off day I see. because then they can kind of unplug and do something completely different i have others that are a bit more you know um that like a bit more the triathlon type thing mm-hmm. and so they're doing their their running days and their biking days and their swimming days gotcha. so they get, get that built in a little bit into their sport but if running is just your thing it, it might be you know doing doing some gym fitness classes like pilates or it might be um you know really anything that you enjoy just staying consistent yeah. so we're talking about running but is it also all this stuff really kind of applies to walking as well would yeah. you say yeah, yeah absolutely. i mean you know some of the things might change a little bit like this next one that we're going to talk about and that is increasing cadence which yeah. is just the number of steps that you take in a certain time period right right yeah steps per minute so you know there's some research out there that shows um you know most most recreational runners are somewhere between 150 to 170 steps per minute uh-huh. and there's some research back um, you know, from some of the Olympics that showed some of the um, ideal runners were running more at 180. Now, that doesn't mm-hmm. mean that everybody should run out and increase their <laughs> cadence to, cadence to a 180. But there is something to be said about that. And I think the biggest thing is that you're taking a smaller stride length and turning it over faster. So you're impacting the ground with your foot closer to your body, which decreases some of the ground reaction forces that affect common injury areas for runners, you know, feet, knees, hips, back, those kinds of things. So I think that's the biggest thing for people to really understand. It's not so much for a lot of runners that going to be this magic number, but it's right. really thinking about how that, you know, the, the stride length that you take and the pace that you, that you run at, how that changes, how your body absorbs those forces from the ground. Mm-hmm. How can you, how can you figure that out other than sitting there and counting yeah. as, as you're going through the yeah. process? How can you figure yeah, something like so that? Or is, is the pedometer, does it do that? Uh, no, there are some running apps that are, are getting they? better about doing okay. that. So, uh, you know, most runners already, already have a, li- a laundry list of their favorite apps, but you can, <laughs> You can find stuff that will do that. There's also instructions you can find on the internet on actually counting it. Or you could do something with a running analysis. You know, okay. we do a running analysis here, and there are several other groups in town that will do that mm-hmm. and kind of find that for you and then start to point out some of those biomechanical things that you need to be aware of. Right. Because that's really where injury occurs is when you don't have efficient, you know, energy absorption. And, and right. so <laughs> your biomechanics can catch up with you at some point. Yeah, but you shouldn't go from 90 steps per minute to 180 immediately. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a gradual, it's a gradual five to ten, you know, um, steps per minute progression. And again, some people will never be at 180, and it's it, it's not realistic for everyone. Right. Right. But you know, even that person who's you know in the you know 130, they might have less knee pain or less foot pain if mm-hmm. they're 135 or 140. So that's where it really becomes about the individual, their individual goals, their individual history, and then just working with a you know with someone that they know and trust to help them determine what's the best fit for them. Right, right. Yeah. And, and here's another tip, and it's a tip for any and every everything you do athletically is to warm up and cool down. Exactly. You know, I mean, exactly. real real simple, but where does stretching fit in with warm up and cool so down? Because runners, you'd think, would stretch, stretch those muscles. And I know in a lot of sports, that's what 
guys and women will do, but yeah. where, do, where does that stretching part fit in at the beginning so or at the end? Yeah, well, a lot of times when people think of stretching, they think of static stretching where right. you load up a muscle and you just hold it. And, and the research over the last 20 some years has really showed that that's best done at the end of your activity when you're cooling down. So you've, okay. you've just warmed up the muscle and now you're just making it more pliable. You're, you're um, getting some connective tissue change and, and, and such. Um, not ideal to do static holds before activity because mm -hmm. you're actually quieting the muscle down. It's not as reactive. So there is a chance for a little bit mm -hmm. more injury risk if you do static holds before activity. Um, so what we recommend is dynamic stretching before activity, and that's just going through the types of movement that you're going to do during your task, progressing from a slower speed to a faster speed and, and working, you know, all those muscles in different directions, all those I joints. See. I see. So we're down to the last minute or so here, believe it or not. Uh, don't let injuries linger. That's, you know, we talked about that yeah. a little bit earlier, that the sooner you get in. Uh, yeah. wh and what is the timetable? If you feel something like you pulled something or something yeah. like that, how long do you wait? Uh, to say, oh, it could heal itself you before know, they come. I would see say it. anything that's that's lasting more than three or four days, get the process okay. going. Yeah. And definitely, if something, if you have a symptom come on that you've had in the past, and it's like, oh, that's back again. Yeah, it, there's an underlying problem that's driving right. it. And the sooner you respond, both cost-wise and also time-wise, <laughs> the, the easier it is to fix. So for, for sure, yeah. for sure. Give us the information on how they can reach you yeah. or reach somebody at core yep. here. So to our set up our phone number here is nine one three three two two four thousand. And then my personal email is Danielle, D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, at coreptkc.com. And let's take a second here and mention that you do not have to have a doctor's nope. referral to nope. come in. So if somebody yeah. injured themselves in the run this past weekend yep. and they want to come see you because they've seen this program, they can just give yep. you a call directly at that number and yeah. do that. Yep, absolutely. And and like I said, we work closely with our physician peers and that in the community. So mm -hmm. if we're seeing some red flags that we need to refer on, we've got some resources for people <laughs> too, so we can get them in. And you've got the expertise, especially with runners, because you work with these kids all the time. That's and, right. And you're That's made right. them better. And I understand that they did very well this they year. They did really well, well this so. year. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. So well, we're going to, uh, th that will actually do it for today's show. I want to thank Jennifer Westerberg, who sat out this one this time, yeah. but she's one of the owners with Daniil Debrecht. Uh, the owner of Core Strategies Physical Therapy and also their physical therapist uh, for joining us and hosting us today. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You'll find it online at kcsportspaper.com and all over Kansas City, and it's free, so pick it up today. The Army Reserve has more than 120 unique career opportunities so you can add to your current strengths or build brand new ones. Join the Army Reserve and you'll make a difference in your life and the lives of others. Learn more at GoArmy.com slash reserve. For more information, contact the Greater Kansas City Company at 3720 Arrowhead Drive, Suite B, telephone number 816-531-3818. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong, paid for by the U.S. Army. Since 1884, Cotty College has been educating women to be confident, prepared leaders in a global society. Cotty College puts the scholar in scholar-athlete. Contact Cotty College at one 888 cotty or visit cotty.edu. Sign up now for Indoor Sand Volleyball Leagues at Volleyball Beach. This winter, Volleyball Beach premieres Indoor Sand Volleyball inside a dome at their 131st and Holmes location. For more information or to register for Indoor Sand Volleyball, visit VolleyballBeach.com or call 816-942-2820. Sign up now for Fall Leagues at Mission Bowl in Olathe. Visit their website, missionbowl.com, or call 913-782-0279 for more details. For 120 years, Ren Insurance Agency has covered Kansas and Missouri families with reliable, affordable protection. Auto, home, boat, life, flood, or renter's insurance. Ren Insurance has been covering local families since 1896. To learn how REN Insurance can protect you and in the process help others in the community, visit their website, reninsurance.com. That's W-R-E-N-N -N in real people, real deals, real estate. Grace Properties and Development buys houses. Call GP&D today and ask for Matt at 844-GPD-PAYS. Be a part of revitalizing golf by purchasing your copy of the Golf Hospitality Association Playbook for just $20. The playbook is for golf courses, beginning golfers, marshals, and course staff. 
For more information on the playbook and membership perks, visit golfhospitalityassociation.org or call 816-398-4110. Look for special offers at Papa's Coffee Express inside this month's KC Sports Magazine. Visit them at 124 South Forest and Liberty or call 816-415-0652. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, you can save $25 on a one-hour massage when you mention KC Sports or Good Sports. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Hey, 